Let's look at final exam, <clears throat> question number 11, in Physics Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find this question on page 514. We're talking here about an NPN bipolar transistor. We can rec uh, recognize the NPN type of transistor by the arrow pointing out right there. The electrodes then are the emitter, that's the one with the arrow, the base, and the collector. Now normally, in the most basic kind of transistor circuit, the base acts as a control electrode and the emitter and the collector have to do with the external circuitry that we want to control. <clears throat> this question though is just simply asking us what we would generally provide the collector with. Which one of the choices would make the most sense here? Well, generally speaking, the collector has a positive voltage with respect to the emitter as provided by an external power supply such as a battery. So, a basic circuit that we might have here would involve a collector being connected to a positive source of voltage, say 6 volts DC, through a load. The load might be, oh, who knows, some sort of a transformer that leads to another circuit, possibly a light bulb, possibly or an appliance of some kind. It could be just about anything. The emitter would be connected to what we call a chassis ground. This positive voltage with respect to that ground. So if we had a battery, for example, we would connect the battery like that negative, positive. The base, uh, well, that can have a lot of different voltages on it, and this is where things get interesting. Normally we might connect the base to through a resistor to the emitter, through another resistor, all the way back around to the positive battery terminal. I know this is getting messy, but when we do that, then we might apply an AC signal to this base, say a weak signal from a radio antenna or from a microphone, something like that. We'd get amplification and a stronger AC signal through the load. I'm going into a little more detail than this question asks for. All this question is asking us is what would we provide the collector with in order to make an NPN circuit work? And the correct answer out of all of these choices is A. A positive DC voltage relative to the emitter.